Hey there, Jean-Serge Gagnon, creator of the Active Group Users Chrome extension. I just want to take a minute to show you how you can use the extension to get more leads from Facebook groups. All right, so first, after you've installed it, uh, you're going to have the extension button on the top here, and you're going to need to get an access key. Basically, what that means is it means getting an account. So just click on here, and you'll just need to register an account. And uh, all you do is... Um, so let's let it load here but you basically see click here to register an account you just click on that that'll pop up a registration uh option user with Facebook which you can just click on this but right now we're just going to go use email I'm going to call it test a gr I'm just going to put another one here and I'm just going to do that so basically what happens is if you use Facebook you'll just be right in but if you use a registration you need to go check your email we'll just pause the recording and we'll come right back all right so our email will look like this it basically gonna have a link right here where you just click on that and that'll open up the active group users uh, website and activate your account and you'll just be able to go get the key from there it automatically loads up the same page with the access key so you'll see that in a second here it says successfully activated your account and I think my computer is a little slow but uh, we'll still get through this and uh, once the account is activated you can uh, just uh, click on that and then it'll load the um, access key which is all you need to activate your extension now this is all free you get a 14 day free trial and right now anyways as I'm recording this there might it might change over time but right now you just click on get access key and then just copy the clipboard and then you go back to the extension right up there and you enter your access key so once you have your access key and your accounts activated you just click on the activate button and that will activate the account the first thing that you need to do is add a group so it kind of shows you here go to Facebook go find a group you want and then add it so basically if I go to Facebook and then I load up uh, groups I go to I can either go groups right here or you know find one of my groups my shortcuts or click on the groups thing here or just do a search let's say I, let's say I want to search for you know um keto keto diet maybe I'm I'm targeting people who are interested in dieting and who are interested in keto whoops not with an a just keto I just uh, search for that and I can then just say you know keto uh, groups right once the Facebook search shows up under groups so I can just go through my groups once I click on groups here you can of course select my groups my computer wasn't so slow which I I'm really sorry about that I'm not sure why it's going on but this when I click on this right it should pop up uh, groups because this was all the search there we go so now the groups is going to load up just the group search and I'm going to be able to say my groups but I, I can see right now that I'm in these groups so let's just take this group here I right click this I copy the link and then I go right into the uh, extension and I paste that in there I put the group in here and I just say add right so now it adds that group to the list I can go through here and I can add other groups if I want just uh, do this again the same thing right you just go back to the extension uh, did it load is it clicking <clears throat> and you just uh, load it up and like I said the speed that this is happening is just really dependent on your computer my computer is giving me a problem right now and but yeah so now you have two groups you can put you know there's different plans different number of groups you can put in right now we're just gonna have two and basically what you do is you click on the start button once you're once you've got your groups and every day or every time you want to do a, a scraping of data you click on the start button and uh, when we do that it basically opens up a new uh, pop-up and it starts to do scraping of data it'll basically load up the tabs and it'll start to do the each the groups it'll go through and as you can see right here it's loading up the first group after a few seconds it'll load up the second group then it loads up the actual uh, uh, post and goes and finds the data that we're interested in 
but I'm going to pause the recording right now and we'll come back when it's almost done all right as it's going you can also notice it shows you this message here to not close it and you can see the number going up right here that as it's as it's loading up more tabs and more tabs you're going to see that uh number change um yeah so then we'll be back when it's done now keep in mind there's some maximums there's a maximum number of posts that'll go scrape there's a maximum number of comments it'll get per post and also a maximum number of profiles that it will uh, scrape so there's there's um reasons for that mainly because it's hard to keep tr if you have hundreds and hundreds of profiles to actually go through uh, you're not going to be able to get through them every day and the idea is running this every day and doing some engagement over time that's kind of the main idea but once it's finished all this gets closed and then you see oh look at that we just got it right in time so last scrape found 86 comments from 81 people in in 10 posts from two groups right so the more if you put more more groups obviously you're going to be able to get more posts because it'll be more per group but once it's done you click on this view data right here which takes you to the page of the of the use of your data and your data looks like this so what you're going to notice here is you're going to notice the group you're going to notice the visits which will be zero the first time for everything your profiles and then notes you can add and then visited the posts whether you visited them or not and then over here is going to be the actual uh, post and the comment of the post you can mouse over this you can click on them to go and visit the post if you want but the main idea with the extension is visiting the people's profile so you can engage on their content so they see you in their notifications nothing prevents you from sending a friend request and you know, messages going on the post and commenting the idea is all here but it keeps track of you for you some of the different things so there's a couple of things uh, that you can do here first you're going to see that as you uh, do more scrapes you're going to get more and more of these records here you also have a couple options here you got the floating data table the pop-up by default the history of activity so those three things are features that uh change a little bit how this behaves like for example right now if I click on this it'll take me to Sandra's Facebook profile right away but if I use pop-up the pop-up is clicking on this little image instead it gives me the pop-up of the whole and lets me specify whether I sent them a friend request how many come how many posts I commented on how many posts I reacted on and also you can have the poster whoever posted this and the commenter right both of them um, you can go visit if you'd like you can visit the poster and you can visit the profile of the commenter right all right so now how to use that um so first you can click on this link to visit their profile right so if I click on this it'll open up Facebook on this person's profile and the cool thing is that you can then decide if you're going to want to continue to visit this person's profile or not based on based on their you know the kind of content they have right so maybe they they don't post anything maybe their profile is private maybe you can't uh, comment or react on their posts right all this is all dependent on their profile right all right so in this particular case this person here as you can see is not allowing me to comment or react on their posts so what I can do is I can just go back to the um back to the the previous one and I can put a note in here and I can say can't comment so that way next time I see Sandra's uh you know profile showing in the in my list I can say oh I can't comment maybe I won't bother going to visit them or maybe I'm going to send them a private message and say hey how's it going and you know tell them that uh that their posts look great but you can't comment on them right so for example right then maybe they're going to send you a friend request you don't know right the idea is how you use the, the data is up to you but let me go and go to my account that I use every day and show you uh, well actually before I do that let me show you here what these things are so the floating data table if I enable this and then I reload the page and this is something you set the way you want if you like to see this little floating data table personally I like seeing it because it lets me see how many profiles I visited today uh, every time I visit a profile the number goes up and it stays on my screen so I can keep track of whether I visited you know one two five ten people today so far kind of thing right 
and uh you can see right here it says visits today one right I just visited one profile so far and that's why it says one the other thing is the pop-up by default that just means that instead of going straight to their profile here going straight to the post going straight to the comment um then it will pop up the little thing which allows me to enter additional information every time I visit one of these profiles uh, as you use the tool maybe you're gonna uh, see the benefit of doing that but personally it helps me to keep track of how many people I reacted their posts how many posts I reacted on how many comments I how many comments I uh, put on their posts whether I send them a private message or not that kind of stuff now the history of activity um is whether it shows today and the last five days of data so you can compare you know yesterday I did 15 profiles the day before 20 the day before 16 you can see how you're doing and what your typical number of uh profile visits or number of comments that kind of stuff is okay so the other thing you can download all this data if you want to a spreadsheet by clicking the download button and uh yeah so those are the features of that tool but what do they give you let me show you my data what it looks like all right so now this is the data I've been as you can see right here there's numbers that says five there's numbers that say six two three those are the number of visits that I've been to this particular profile so Stephanie Odin here I mouse over the six I can see the dates of when I visited the profile I can see I visited the October 1st the 4th the 20th November 4th the 13th the 27th that's kind of lets me see that I've, that I've been to the, her profile now the other thing that's real that's very new to the to the tool is just uh, actually today as per the well yesterday uh the recording is this shows me also the reactions the comments and the friend requests that I sent so over here you can see I've got 10 two pms I sent you today I commented on 24 posts and I reacted on 37 posts now the reason why that's like that is because lots of people don't have their posts to public so I can't comment on them but I can react on them right and some of them I can't even react right but it shows here that I visited 20 profiles today yesterday I did 27 the day before 17 25 17 and then the total for the 35 days and the average for the last 30 days as well right so that's kind of what it gives you now what what do you do with that right what do you do with that like I said before is up to you but this is what the tool lets you keep track of as you can see I've got uh, comments on some of these um and some of them I don't have comments also sees right here you can also see how long ago you visited them so as you're going through the list you might say oh look this one eight days ago I probably should visit their profile again the other one says two days well I probably don't need to go today this one says yesterday I can skip them right and then some of them say not not yet but <laughs> well then you can see some of them yeah not yet <laughs> I'm sorry that not yet means I haven't visited them yet that's why it says zero right here this says one 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 right and uh, things like that so you can see a bunch of them not yet <coughs> now you can uh, you can also uh sort the data using the columns so there's visited right here post comment um this is supposed to be uh lower down the the you should have and they'll probably be fixed by the time you see it but over here you also have the profile and the group so you should be able to uh, sort by them but if I click on visited it'll sort by the visited uh column right and it'll show you who I visited the most or the least based on the list right and so yeah right here you can see all the people that have not visited their profile yet right and if I scroll down you scroll down you see right here this one was 59 days ago these ones were 39 days ago so I could just start by going to the ones I've seen not yet or the ones that I have seen for a while and you can also see these numbers right here will change right now it's all saying zero because I haven't visited them but also even the ones that I did visit right they don't they, the numbers are going to change as I use this this tool right now it all says zeros because uh here's some examples right so over here I've got three two 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 three zero one three three one three three right so those numbers are basically the comments the reactions and whether I sent them a p.m or not and the n is if I sent them a friend request or not uh it'll show here so I'll be able to see you know over time whether uh what kind of interaction I should have with these people are it, am I ready to send them a message right have they seen me in their notifications enough 
or and you know because I don't want to interact with people right away I want them to kind of see me and then I want them to come to my profile see what I'm about that kind of stuff that's what this tool is really meant for is to help you instead of you having to go to the groups and go find the people and go engage in the on the on the post in the group and everything else which you should still do a little bit but this tool lets you find the people who are actually posting in groups who are actually commenting in groups that are actually active and you don't have to go through your friend list and these are all people that you probably aren't connected with because there are groups that are public that have tons of people in them and that are constantly commenting and posting all right hopefully you enjoyed and um what else can I tell you the other thing is if I go to the extension let's just talk about uh, the extension itself if we just look at the extension um screen you're going to notice that uh, there's more than just uh, groups and the data and all that right over here we got leaders plan status options links affiliate and support so under leaders you're basically going to see who is active how many leads they have how many runs groups and clicks and they get points based on their activity and you also can win uh you can win something uh right now it's a 30-day it's a one month free uh gold plan but that'll that could change right the plans these are the different plans that there are on the platform the status is just your status and this will probably update with other things options is where you set your schedule you can set a schedule to automatically do it every night so that in the morning you just have the data ready uh you can choose the size of the pop-up you can choose the, the maximum comments and posts that kind of stuff uh, those are all and links is you know accessing legal and all terms and rules and all that affiliate is if you want to be an affiliate uh you have to go just click a few a uh, few buttons but basically it gives you up to 75 percent commission on people who actually upgrade their plan and you get that commission under support there's you know different links to request a feature report a bug and that kind of thing uh, that's what that's for you can just go back to data here where you can see your list of groups and you can click on the view data to access the data and by the way you can access this data here on your phone you can't uh, scrape and get the new data for the day from your phone but you can access this website from your phone to actually see this data and use it on your phone I do that every every morning I, I use my phone to access the data from the night before right and so that's pretty much it enjoy <laughs>